Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to the very last Tuesday teaching tips for this academic year. It's felt like a really long one actually, hasn't it? And I don't know about you all, but I'm definitely in need of what I've called this Tuesday teaching tips, renew, refresh, replenish. So for those of us that are in the Northern Hemisphere, you're either already on your summer break or you're about to start your summer break a bit like I am. And I think it's so important that this year more than ever, it's always important, but this year more than ever, we do need to give ourselves a break, a break from the computer, a break from having to do work, a break from um, just the, the normal everyday life that seems to be around us that's no lo longer normal really. So what am I going to do? Well, actually quite often in the summer I would go on a summer school or a course to renew myself and replenish myself as a musician. I'm not gonna do this year, that this year for a number of reasons. So I'm gonna stay at home and, and renew myself at home. I'm gonna see if I can renew my acquaintance with the piano because to be honest, it's kind of gone down downhill a little bit how much I'm playing the piano. And according to my piano tuner, a lot of people are, that he has visited, a lot of people are feeling the same about it. It's funny because it's something to do with the concentration that's required. And when you're on the computer all day long delivering lessons, as we all have been, it's very hard to find that mental energy. Anyhow, I'm going to renew my acquaintance. I've already started that. And I, one thing I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to be working through um, a set of pieces. And the first set of pieces I've chosen, are, and I've made a start on, are Chopin's Mazurkas. Let's play through every single one, at, not all at the same time. I'm going to take a few days over it, probably a few weeks over it, to be absolutely honest. But what I am doing is every time I play one through, I date it, I put the date on the top, and I give it a sort of a, a tick rating. Um, three ticks for, yep, this is definitely one I really love and I'd like to come back to. Of course, there are lots in here that I already know, but there's quite a few that I don't actually know. So, very interesting thing to do. And when I've done Chopin, I might do something else. What about some Bach preludes and fugues? How interesting would that be? So, that's one idea if you want to get stuck into something similar. Another thing I love to do to renew myself is to read. And I know I shared a few few months ago now some of the books I've been reading so I thought I'd share a few more of ones that I've been reading recently and the first one I want to share with you is one called The Pianist of Yarmouk. The Pianist of Yarmouk. This is I think a glor a, an extraordinary book yeah absolutely extraordinary and it does make us make made me um, feel how lucky I am to live where I am and not be in a war-torn country because it tells the story of a young man and his piano in Syria so you can already imagine the, the scene there you know uh, uh, surrounded by bombing and under siege basically so he's starving and every day he pulls his piano into the street and he plays it and he's surrounded by um, some children come and join him and sing so it's about his life how he became a pianist, his struggles as becoming a pianist. So there's lots of interesting stuff there about how he suddenly found the spark to practice the piano when his dad had been trying to get encourage him and was paying him even to practice, to eventually how he ends up in Germany, the pianist of Yarmouk. And the second book I'd like to recommend that I've really enjoyed is one that I'm sure a lot of you will already be familiar with, and it's called Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Now, on the front, it says from The Guardian, it says breathtakingly moving, outstanding. And I just can't tell you how how brilliant a book this, this is to say that you just lose yourself in it. The, the writing, the prose is exquisite. It really is. And yet it's so easy to read. And it is such a fantastic story, all based on um, something to do with Shakespeare. All right. So it's it's just wonderful. Just really lovely. Hamlet. And the third book I thought I would I would say um, that I, I would recommend is one for you as the teacher, really. But it's nothing to do with teaching. It's actually to do with coaching. And it's by um, Mung Michael Bungay Stanya. And it's called The Advice Trap. 
and you can see probably why I like it because it says be humble stay curious and change the way you lead forever because if you're a teacher you are a leader and we I did an interview with with Michael Bungay Stanya a few years back and it's in one of the curiosity boxes if you're on feedback if you're interested and out there as a member of the community but it's really a super simple read and it's full of really good ideas for you to use as a teacher to help avoid giving advice and instead to give purposeful, meaningful feedback. So something for you to get into and implement in September. So that's some ideas from me about how to renew, refresh and replenish. The other thing I might do is to play my, my viola with some friends again and, and make chamber music together. That would be a lot of fun. Love to hear from you lot what books you're reading, what music you might be going to learn and whether you, you're hoping to play music in any shape or form over the summer. So as I said, this is the last one from me for the duration of the summer. We'll be back in the autumn at some point for more Tuesday teaching tips. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye for now.